Hey guys, welcome back to Big Boy. TBL in action. Uh, end of turn one. Disastrous combat series uh, in a couple of areas. Starting in the north, uh, where things went well, uh, we had the, the 7th and 22nd Luftlanders uh, take a door direct. Uh, in our reserve phase, we move 3rd Panzer up to here which means next turn I should be able to get most of the units in place to force a capitulation at the end of the turn by the Dutch. And we are in fact planning on that being the case because I have very little down here other than some screening and holding forces to protect uh, any potential attack in the second turn, although I, I doubt that'll happen. I really can't get very far. Fourth Panzer, 20th Mech, 9th Panzer and SSV are here with some supporting divisions, some guys in strat mode pushing up. So uh, plan is for these guys to try and move this way if we can. If not, and if we need to, we can always pop up into the Netherlands and uh, finish what we started up there. Uh, that guy is dead. Uh, let's see, where are we? Here. Uh, it's just a terrible attack here. I mean, I tried to take this fort, dg it, just got my ass handed to me and lost a step. No action there, no, no joy. I told you about the overruns here. That took two panzer divisions to clear that out and we still left a step standing from the first cav, so they were tough little Belgian guys. First Panzer, I threw everything I had at this fourth calf stack and uh, could not get a DG on it and was very reluctant to try and conduct any sort of assault. It was going to cost me a unit and there was not a good chance that I would actually score a result that would be meaningful enough to be worth the risk. So we will uh, start rolling hip shoots again next turn on that guy. It'll be a focus here. Same story, uh, just got my butt kicked by the 5th Cav, they just hung tough, they lost an RD unit, we lost a small battalion, a KRD from the 1st that was over here to uh, spot, so that's the entire 2nd Panzer plus the Grosse Deutschland tied up there. Got to reserve move the 29th up to here and the 6th Panzer up to here. 10th Panzer took out a two that was sitting here, a little two step, not two step, but two combat factor unit from 5th Cav. That opens up an opportunity to bypass this unit and either go straight to the Sedan this turn, this coming turn, uh, assuming we get the double back to back. And uh, that would then, you know, get us into some sort of history back into some sort of historical range. I am, um, I am thinking about not going that way because I went that way last time. And while it was all fun, I'd be interested in trying a different route, even if it meant uh, some longer time to get through this mess here. So I might buy myself some more trouble. We'll see what happens. I'm not not certain on which route we'll take here. I feel nice and controlled and organized here for a change. Uh, first game was just just me shuffling shit all over the place. It was pretty hilarious. Uh, still not managing headquarters very well because headquarters have to be in combat mode to receive uh, goodies, supply, and uh, obviously they all had to move this turn. So supply comes in before uh, before you get to choose your mode, I believe, and therefore that is going to cause a problem this turn. We're going to have to do a lot of pushing of uh, supply forward. I've got five here, three here, just one left there. I've managed to spend as much as I can back here. Excuse me. But uh, anyway, there you go. Nothing going on down there. That's the end of the first turn, and we'll uh, probably uh, get started in a little while on uh, turn two.